Let's get it, man. It's your boy TP, man. I got y'all episode of Blue Chips. Y'all know we rocking with Yowsh. Let's get it, man. Blue Chips. Welcome back to Blue Chips. The people that are familiar with my series, we are back. The people that are new, my new subscribers, hey, sit down, take a seat. You about to meet one of the most exciting guys on YouTube. He won the state championship as a senior. He came out of a rough situation in Miami, Florida. He played for Miami Northwestern, one of the winners high schools in Miami. But this is not your traditional high school. It's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in this high school. But Caesar had to prove himself. He was known as a basketball player with his 6'7 frame. He wanted to show everybody he had the toughness to play football and to live up to all the expectations that was put upon him as the other quarterbacks have played before him. He was ready for the challenge. But off the field, Caesar loved fast cars. His coach told him to stay out of trouble and to keep his nose clean. The future was in the palm of his hands, but he could not resist the temptation. He wanted to be accepted in the street riders, so he had to do certain things to be accepted. You with skills like that, very fine. Woo. Yeah. Ain't nothing gonna stop us from running these streets now. I can't risk this operation on games with small time hoods. These guys are nothing but a distraction. All yours, dog. Think this was the summer of 2011. The only thing he had to do was keep his nose clean. He was going to Alabama. Full ride. But he loved the streets. He was born in the streets. His dad was a boxer and he was taken from him early. So he used the street life as his family. He couldn't turn back now. He felt like he was too deep. He owed the streets so much for taking care of him. But even Caesar found himself in situations he could not control. Situations he could not outrun. He could not jick his way out of it. He couldn't talk his way out of it. Now no school in the country wanted to touch this guy. He was a problem. He was a problem child. He tried to run, but he couldn't get away. Busted again. This was his third strike. Not even his hometown Miami Hurricanes would touch this guy. They was trying to clean up their image. And Caesar was just messing it up. He was sticking up the place. He had to call Coach T. He could get him in the school where he could rebuild his image. He had to go to prep school for a year. And this was the beginning of his road to glory. And I want everybody to look at something. This guy right here, he might be the best player on this team. And he let Caesar know it. This is his team. Caesar was coming to his team. He was the man. Caesar was a guy that was getting a second chance. So I want you guys to remember that. This road to glory might not be just Caesar's road to glory. My man number 80 is no joke. He is not a mere pun on the board. He is a major player. And he lets everybody know it. He might even steal the show. I want you guys to tell me who do you think is the best. Number three. Or number 80. We have a long season ahead of us. 
I thought about just skipping straight to the my college season, but once I seen how good this number 80 was, I said, no, people have to see this. People have to see in my road to glory, I might not be the superstar. Caesar Benson might be the second best guy on the field. And the team wasn't just accepting Caesar with open arms. He had to come in and prove himself. Just like he had to do at Miami Northwestern. I don't think they know he was a new kid on the block. But Caesar was ready to battle. And battle he must do. I mean, he had to endure a lot of stuff. A lot of pain and punishment. This was not going to be an easy road to glory. No, sir. You got to earn your stripes, baby. You in Wildcat country. We love it. We eat it. We breathe football here, son. It's time to earn your stripes. Hit the like button and we will see you guys soon.